Hi, everybody. All right, you join me just in time. We are removing the bottom corner cam lock flanges. All right, come to find out they don't fit, and with them on, the cowling doesn't fit, so they're coming off. Plus, having a cam lock in the corner isn't really necessary, uh, and I'll be fine without them, so. They're out. All right, in this, or in, I should say in the last video, we finished uh, sizing up the top cowling. In this video, we're actually going to put the top cowling in place with uh, cam locks. I'll get into all of that in a bit. Let's go over some updates. Everyone wants to see it. So this weekend, as I've been saying, we were going to put the wings on. Here's a quick picture. Isn't that great? Oh, that's that's so nice. <clears throat> it really went smooth. Well, went pretty smooth. Uh, those suckers are on, and they're not going anywhere. So it's it's great. Very happy with that. Now it's now it's go time, right? Now it's like no excuses. Wings are on. I I got so much to do. It is not even funny. I think this would be the 95% stage, and it's true. As it goes up, I still got 95% to go. Okay, so like I said in the last video, we finished sizing up the top cowling, and then we have it hanging in place and we've got it secured in the back by like four or five pieces of painters tape now the idea is we're going to put the bottom cowling on secure it to the top with the two holes that we drilled in the front with Glico's, and then see how it how it looks now the idea here is that you do want that you want to distort the cowling as little as humanly possible right um you want it to distort it as a little bit as possible, so I thought, you know what, the only way to really have that happen, to have the top cowling on and distort it as little as possible, is just to go ahead and put the cam locks on. So that's what we're doing. So that's what we're doing. And it, uh, I, and I gotta say, having, and so this is basically the beginning of the cam locks. Uh, they're fantastic. It is such an easy process, and you're gonna laugh when you see how easy this is. Uh, so, in just a second here, we're going to get a bigger close-up on the far side. So, the cam locks themselves, right, you see the big flanges that pop out, and you can see the holes cut in the center of them. I think those are 9 sixteenths holes. So, that's where eventually the cam lock mechanism gets uh, uh, riveted on. Until then, however, because this, you know, fiberglass canopy isn't see-through, right, it's had a gel coat put on it. Because it's not transparent, normally you would just use a bright flashlight from the inside to center up uh, where you're going to drill, because you could see through it, right? There you can see a good example. So instead, there's a little uh, temporary flange that goes in place. Uh, in fact, here's a picture of one real, real quick. And you can see that there's a hole in the center that is made for number 30 Clico. So basically, you put the flange behind and it sort of locks into place and the uh, now the flange is behind it, I don't know why I call it an insert so there's an insert, you put it behind there and you have a magnet in the back of it about to do it right here, so we, there you go, it goes in the back and then I've got little uh, neodymium or rare earth magnet balls that you then put on the other side and you can see I'm used, they're sort of snapping it back into place to make sure it's all going back to the same spot and that should theoretically be the center of the flange or the flange hole and that's it so let me show you here's a quick side pick of what that sort of looks like here's a drawing from whiteboard right so you can see there's the flange the magnet the actual cowling and you can see the ball right there and tape so that outer thing is tape now here's the problem if you can see how I'm holding it there. That's because it's right next to the edge of the cowling, which is great. But you're not always able to get the back of your hand behind the cowling. So what you have to do then is you have to tape it in place. And that kind of stinks because it's hard, right? It's a circular insert, and it's got to click into the flange hole. Uh, so it's a little bit of a pain. All right. In the next video, we're just going to keep going with this. It's going to be cam locks and bottom cowls from here on out. So, thank you for joining me, everyone, and we'll see you soon.